Hey peeps, it's Aldo from Zero to Mastery, and in today's tutorial we're talking about the C-Sharp compiler. Now this isn't just any tutorial, it's part of Claudio Bernasconi's complete C-Sharp and .NET bootcamp course available on Zero to Mastery. So if you want to learn more about C-Sharp and how it works, click the link in the top right hand corner or check out the description below for the full course. Alright, that's it from me. Let me hand it over to Claudio. Enjoy! In this lesson, we will learn how the C-Sharp compiler works. Compilers are a broad topic and universities offer entire courses about it. People who build compilers even study them for years. But don't worry, we'll only learn about what's important for an upcoming C-Sharp application developer. The C-Sharp compiler as well as the Visual Basic.NET compiler are complex and have been developed and improved over 20 years. This image shows some of the complexity. However, as stated before, for C Sharp application development, we don't need to understand the whole compiler pipeline. Let's focus on what's important for us. The compiler parses the C Sharp code we write, optimizes it, and generates IL code. IL stands for Intermediate Language. It doesn't matter if you write your application in C Sharp or Visual Basic.NET, your compiled application will be running on the .NET runtime. The .NET runtime executes IL code, and that's why all .NET programming languages compile into this format. Let's quickly look at an example to see the difference between C Sharp and IL code. Here we see a standard entry point of a C Sharp application the program class with a main method. It contains a single console.writeLine method call with hello world as an argument. On the right side, you see the IL code that gets generated by the compiler. Don't worry, as a C Sharp application developer, we don't have to understand this format. However, let's be grateful that we are able to express our code in a human friendly language like C Sharp on the left and that the compiler transforms the code into IL for the .NET runtime to run. This IL code can be executed on every computer that has the .NET runtime installed or packaged with a .NET application. But how does the .NET runtime execute the IL code? A computer runs a specific instruction set defined by the CPU and its architecture. The .NET runtime takes the IL code generated by the C-Sharp compiler and compiles it a second time into assembly code. The CPU understands and executes the assembly code. In this example, we see the assembly code of the identical Hello World program implemented in C-Sharp and compiled into the assembly code by the .NET runtime. The .NET runtime uses a just-in-time or short JIT compiler, meaning that the IL code gets compiled to assembly code as needed during the runtime of the application. So, what do we .NET developers learn from this lesson? First of all, we understand that all .NET programming languages, including C Sharp, Visual Basic .NET, and F Sharp, compile into IL code. The .NET runtime understands IL code, executes it, and uses a just-in-time compiler to generate machine-specific code at runtime that the CPU can execute. With this knowledge in mind, we understand why compiled .NET applications can run on different operating systems and hardware specifications. The IL code is independent of hardware and operating systems, and the runtime takes care of compiling the IL code into the native assembly format on demand. And that's the end of our overview on the C Sharp compiler. A huge thank you to Claudio for this amazing tutorial. If you found this video helpful, just imagine what you can learn from his complete C Sharp and .NET bootcamp course, linked in the top right hand corner and in the description down below. Also, don't forget to like, subscribe and hit that notification bell so you never miss out on future tutorials from Claudio and other expert Zero Mastery instructors. Alright, that's it from me. Keep on learning and I'll catch you in the next video.